Coming up on 4 News Now at 6, the big dance. We have live coverage for you with our sports team, Julian Menenson and Alex Crescenti. And tickets to games at the Spokane Arena are hard to come by. We'll explain why more could soon become available and the signs to look out for so you don't get scammed. Our string of record-breaking warm, sunny days is coming to an end. I'll have your first alert forecast. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. We start with some breaking news out of Coeur d'Alene. A former Idaho State Police trooper accused of murdering his wife has been found guilty of second-degree murder. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. The jury also found him not guilty of first-degree murder. Daniel Howard was accused of murdering his wife, Kendi, in Athol in 2021. At the center of this case was whether Howard staged his wife's death to look like a suicide. The prosecution claimed he knew enough about crime scenes based on his time as a state trooper to stage her death. Howard was immediately led to the jail in handcuffs after the verdict was read on the second degree murder conviction. Well, four Eastern Washington basketball teams are preparing for their shot at winning a national championship. The WSU and Gonzaga men and the EWU women are on the road while the Gonzaga women will start their quest in Spokane. Yeah, the Cougs and Zags play their first round games on Thursday. And the Cougs are in Omaha to take on Drake University. The Zags are in Salt Lake City to take on McNeese State. Alex Rosenti is in Omaha tonight, while Julian Minenso is in Salt Lake. And Julian, we'll start with you. Gonzaga has a history of playing in Salt Lake, so could that be a factor in their tournament run? I think so, Derek. I mean, Salt Lake City is kind of a home away from home for Gonzaga. I'm going to get behind my camera and show you what I mean here. Right behind me here is the John Stockton statue. Of course, he is a Zags legend. He is a Utah Jazz legend. He knows what it's like to play here in Salt Lake City, and so do the Zags. This is the seventh time the Bulldogs will play in Salt Lake City for the NCAA tournament. That's more than any other site, and the team has had some major success out here. They've won eight of their last 11 games played here. The Bulldogs last played in Salt Lake City in 2019. They took down Fairleigh Dickinson and Baylor as a number one seed on their way to an Elite Eight. There is also expected to be a large number of Gonzaga fans coming to the game as Spokane to Salt Lake City is an easy trip to make and no one is happier about it than head coach Mark Few. For us to be in Salt Lake and I think they rewarded us for us going out and playing people in the non-conference and, uh, and and now we're you know now we're back where we're you know comfortable being and we're used to this and and uh, but we have to go out and play. Got to go out and play and got to play good. You keep if you don't play good, you're you're done. And tip-off is at 4.25 Spokane time on Thursday. If Gonzaga wins, they will play the winner of Kansas and Samford in the second round on Saturday. We're going to have a lot more coverage, including some kook stuff that Alex has coming up here in just a second. Guys. All right, Julian, thank you so much. And 900 miles away, the seventh-seeded Cougs will be making their first tournament appearance since 2008 as they get ready to battle the Bulldogs of Drake in Omaha. That's where Alex Crescenti is tonight. And Alex, the Cougs have a chance to be the darling of the tournament. That's right, Derek. If the Cougs can go and get a win on Thursday night, it might start to turn a lot of heads on the national stage. And what's not to love about this team? We've been over the storylines time and time again, and that begins and ends with the star freshman guard, Miles Rice. You know his story by now. He went and beat cancer and then was named the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. And then let's go ahead and look at the transfer, the transfers. Isaac Jones from across the border at the University of Idaho and Jalen Wells from Division II Sonoma state and at first glance there was nothing really noteworthy about them at the beginning of the season but all three went on to be named all Pac-12 performers still when you have that many questions going into a season it leaves a lot to the imagination and even head coach Kyle Smith didn't quite know how good this team was going to be when they opened up camp but there are moments where anxiety can get the best of anyone and myself too is like because the unknown is a little disturbed. Like early in the season, you just don't quite know how the team's going to respond. Every year's a journey. You don't. There are certain moments. I think. I think. Like I said, beating Boise State was where they're good. They're a tournament team. I think that gave us some confidence. And even like, and I keep going back to the obvious ones, Arizona. But I'm telling you, we beat Oregon State at home. We were that first half wasn't pretty. I think we were nervous, and and it took everything we had to to try to get that one done. And those and those kind of the moments that stick out to me. 
Now, Smith is one of the only members of this team with tournament experience as he spent 10 years with St. Mary's. So that could really come into help uh, when calming the nerves of some of the younger players. And the Cougs are going to get underway on Thursday night. Tip off against Drake just after 7 p.m. Pullman time. So we could be in for a late evening. And just like Smith has told his players time and time again over the last few weeks, enjoy this moment. And we're at least certainly going to be doing that on our end here in Omaha. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alex. Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now Sports. All right, Alex, thank you. Students and staff at Wazoo gathered to show support for their team as they began their journey to Nebraska today. Take a look. That send-off inside Bowler Gym. Again, the Cougs play this Thursday night at 7 o'clock against Drake, who won the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. It's not just the Cougs making their grand return to the big dance. On Friday, the Eastern Eagles women's team will be playing in their first tournament game since 1987. The Eagles punched their ticket after beating Northern Arizona to win the Big Sky title after only losing five games this season. Just awesome. They're going to hit the road to take on the third-seeded Oregon State Beavers. Tip-off is at 5 o'clock this Friday. All right, you are taking another live look here at Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, where in just a few days, first and second round games in the NCAA tournament will be played. It is the first time since 2016 that Spokane is hosting games in the men's tournament. It's an exciting time to be here in the Inland Northwest with four local teams headed to the NCAA tournament. As we've been telling you, whether you're staying here or you're traveling to see your team, it can be easy to become the victim of a ticket scam. Bronte Saratsky joins us live outside the Spokane Arena with what what fans should look out for. Well, getting scammed out of a ticket happens a lot more often than you might think. I sat down with experts who explain what to look out for when it comes to scams and how you can avoid losing out on your seat. Criminals follow the headlines just like you and I do. That's why huge sporting events like the NCAA tournament are prime targets for scammers. Starting Friday, teams from across the country will play right here at the Spokane Arena. And tickets are already sold out, giving scammers an opportunity to prey on some desperate fans. So if you just were to do a search like Spokane Arena tickets or NCAA Spokane tickets, the first... The first ones that are going to pop up, right, are going to be the, the ones that aren't real. The Public Facilities District says you should only buy tickets from venues like the Spokane Arena and then go to the ticketing platform from there. When buying tickets online, using a credit card will always be the safest option. So when buying anything online, I definitely recommend that people use credit cards. You have far greater protections. Protections you won't necessarily have with Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle. And if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. If one seat is averaging about $100 and you find it for $50 somewhere else, that's a red flag. Because while you may think you're saving money, you might have just lost your seat. And if you do fall victim to a scam, you should immediately report it to the Attorney General's office as well as AARP's Fraud Watch Network. Because you're going to have to get the guidance and the resources on the next steps that you need to take. Now, if you are still trying to get a ticket to one of the local matches, some schools will be giving some of their tickets back to the box office. So be sure to keep checking here at the arena to see if you can get some legit tickets. Reporting live in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. Thank you, Bronte. And with a good chunk of the games taking place during the workday, it's fair to say a good number of your coworkers may be a little distracted over the next few days. Whether they're researching and filling out brackets, they're organizing pools in their office, or they're actually live streaming those games during the workday, uh, people are going to be doing a lot of not work over the next few weeks. An outplacement firm estimates $9.6 billion worth of workplace productivity will be lost because of the games, but it's not all bad news. Some say these tournaments are good for employers who have struggled with team building. There's all sorts of ways you can get people engaged, and it's a really fun and easy way to engender a lot of camaraderie and morale. Experts say businesses can lean into those brackets with company prizes and friendly competition. Choose one game everyone watches live at the same time. Maybe encourage team gear in the office. I 
I think it's fun. I've always thought it was fun, but I work in TV. So. I just like that he said there's going to be people doing a lot of not work over the next <laughs> few days. <laughs> I know. He chose his words wisely there. Yeah. Oh Our producer, Stephen, does want to remind everybody to thank your coworkers who are not into college basketball um, because <laughs> those are the people, Stephen, who are picking up all oh, the slack. Yeah. Is he, though? I don't know. I'm not so sure. <laughs> all right. Well, our streak of beautiful weather is about, to, not quite yet, but it's yeah. about to come to an end. It's going to start to slowly snowball and then really roll down into the weekend. Let's just take a look at our downtown uh, Spokane Sky Cam right now, looking over the arena parking lot and the county courthouse at a beautiful sky. Oh my goodness, good time for a jog or a evening dog walk uh, because we are going to see this nice weather come to an end here fairly soon. Our high temperature today, 69 degrees. That's three days in a row that we have uh, broken our record high. The previous record, 68, set back in 1947. This is the first time we've had three consecutive days in March of 69 degrees or higher. Did hit 70 on Sunday. Highs across the region, lots of temperatures in the 60s and and 70s did not have a record today in Pullman. You were on track uh, for another record uh, streak of records, but your 67 topped out there. 73 in Ritzville it was 64 today in Sandpoint. This evening we'll expect mostly clear to clear conditions. Winds generally light, with temperatures dropping into the 50s by 9 o'clock. Also by 9 o'clock it will be officially spring. The vernal equinox is at six minutes after. Eight, uh, this evening. The weather, however, is going to ease back into a more winter-like weather pattern with the potential of some snow right down in the valleys. I will have your seven-day forecast in just a few minutes, Derek. Just when you thought you were done with that mm -hmm. snow. Well, the number of women freezing their eggs is on the rise in the U.S. Coming up, how many women actually end up using those eggs? Plus... What do we need to do to keep our house safe from potential wildfires? Firefighters say right now is a good time to check your house. I'll explain what you need to do this spring. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. Save your green! What's the score again? It's hippopotama to huh. So, one more letter in Anton Ride Shotgun. Let's be real. Do we even know how to spell hippopotamus? Hold on. H I P P O. Yeah, thanks, Professor. Hey, chill out, man. I'm getting a ruling here. Play daily to win a brand new Mercedes Benz only at Northern Quest. It's Click It RV's huge open house show and sale going on now with top manufacturers like Forest River, Winnebago, Thor, Jayco, Starcraft, and more. With super low interest rates, zero down, and no payments till July. Enter to win 30000 in cash or a new 2023 Starcraft trailer. There's huge savings on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. So beat the spring rush and don't miss this huge open house sale at Click It RV. One mile past the Y on the Newport Highway. All aboard, sisters. The sequel to the smash hit Menopause the Musical is about to set sail. Cruising through the change is the can't-miss ultimate girls' night out. Menopause the Musical has been seen by more than 17 million fans worldwide. This hilarious sequel features parodies of your favorite hits from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Coming to Spokane on March 23rd for one performance at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets at broadwayspokane.com. As soon as I got babysitting money, there was a penny candy store down the street. It was a tobacco shop that sold penny candy. <laughs> Next Live, Brian Tyree Henry. Watch live tomorrow at 9, right after GMA. Now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value Brand.
Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. What's bothering Archie? Politics. What the Supreme Court says ain't got nothing to do with the law. Do Goldfish. Come on now, I draw the line on goldfish. <laughs> Sundays beginning at 8, over the air on KXLY 4.2. Welcome back. Local firefighters are urging homeowners to look for potential fire hazards around their homes right now. They say those leftover fuels on the ground after winter can pile up. And that can cause a bigger problem during the dry summer months. Peter Choi explains the hidden fire hazards and why families need to clean up right now. And if we can reduce areas touching the home where embers can accumulate, that's the biggest value we can add. On Tuesday, the Washington Department of Natural Resources Just removing these before fire season. Local fire departments are walking the perimeter of house in the Ponderosa neighborhood. An ember can land underneath this rhododendron and burn through these leaves, so. Now the goal here is to remove anything combustible away from your house. Even compost pile could be a fire hazard. Firefighters say check places like under the deck and garbage bins. Make sure to get rid of any combustible materials from piling up. Remove any piles that made up of unused top wood. Put this list, get rid of it this spring, get a hold of the dump. Now the question is, why do we need to do these now? In the winter, if, if you see where that snow accumulates around a home, that's where those embers will accumulate too. They're, they can be really small, but they can still be hot. And I want to prevent uh, any fuel on the ground that could be ignited by those embers. And get into the attic and start your attic on fire. For further assistance, DNR is offering a free consultation from local wildfire experts. Find more information on our website, kxly.com. If a homeowner can check some of those boxes off for us ahead of time, it speeds up our effort and makes us more effective when we respond. In Spoken Valley, Peter Choi, for News Now. Well, thinking ahead to fire season might make the seven day forecast a little more uh, exciting and a good thing. Tomorrow, we're just going to cool down a little bit, but still almost 15 degrees above average. A few more clouds filtering our sunshine and then eventually some rain on the way. I'll tell you all about that and the potential for some snow after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Pape Machinery. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Hey, Ben, the thermostat's acting up. You work for Bill's Heating and Air. You know how to fix this, right? I just do the commercials. Ben, the AC's broken. Come on, you work for Bills. You must know something about this. Bro, I'm just their spokesperson. Dude, the furnace is so loud. You work for Bills Heating. You can fix it, right? You do know I'm a basketball player, right? If the Gonzaga Bulldogs win the 2024 National Championship, Bills Heating will refund up to $6,000 of qualifying equipment purchased before April 8th. It's here. It's now. The Grand National RV Show at r, &R RV North Spokane, March 14th through the 23rd. Shop over 140 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 14th through the 23rd. Indoors at r, &R RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit r, &R -R at Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game-changer for our family. Just Between Friends at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. The reality, the struggles of infertility. Now this week, GMA's Rebecca Jarvis with Real Answers. This is something deeply personal to me and so many women across our country. That's why I'm so happy to be bringing you this series. It's all about family. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. 
are four things to know about your weather. It's going to be a tad cooler Wednesday. You might not even notice because it's still going to be very warm, but we'll be out of rec record territory. Showers on Thursday, they'll be a little hit and miss, but then rain on Friday, taking us into a wet and cool weekend that might involve some snow on Sunday morning. Here's a look at our high temperatures for tomorrow around the region. And again, it is still going to be plenty warm, but we have have we will be kicking off our cooling trend tomorrow. So a little bit cooler than it has been. A lot more 60s uh, on the map compared to the 70s that we've seen in many locations over the past uh, three or four days. Still 74 in Lewiston, but we'll be in the mid 60s throughout most of the inland northwest. Here's a look at our forecast radar. Let's start off at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with some filtered sunshine, and we will still have plenty of sunshine tomorrow just a few more clouds particularly as we get into Wednesday evening because then we're going to start to see our first chances for some light precipitation Thursday over overnight uh, Wednesday into Thursday morning here's 3 a.m. on Thursday still warm enough that anything in the valleys will be falling as rain and we're going to keep that chance of showers going right on into Thursday evening but our odds of wet weather really start to to jump on Friday up to 60%. Right now it looks like the wettest day of the forecast will be Saturday and it's this time frame from uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning where we could see some minor snow accumulating on the grassy surfaces in the valleys. We have another chance Sunday night and into Monday because our temperatures are going to start to really drop. Uh, we're going to Go slowly at first, 63 for a high tomorrow. Still above average on Friday, despite the wet weather. This black line right here is average. And then we drop below into the mid 40s through the weekend and into early next week. But it's those morning lows and the timing of the precipitation that could bring the snow down to the valley levels. So. During the day Saturday, it'll be around 3,000 feet, but by Sunday morning, it is going to be down uh, to the valley floors, 1,200, and we may see some snow on Monday as well, depending on the timing of the precipitation. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Dry on Wednesday, and then also we will see winds picking up a little bit on Thursday, a breezy day, so it's just getting increasingly less pleasant. Uh, Friday, good chance of rain and a high of 58. Then we have a rain snow mix for the weekend. Saturday being the wetter of the two weekend days and that potential for snow as temperatures overnight drop below freezing. We're back to just rain on Tuesday, but extended forecast does look like above average precipitation and below average temperatures will continue right on through the end of March and into early April. April. Kirsten? Well, something you can do inside Buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> yeah, lotto mania back. Spreading across the country as jackpots for both the Mega Millions drawing and the Powerball have surpassed half a billion dollars. Yeah, they've gone into crazy jackpot territory. The Mega Millions drawing is tonight. It's now sitting at $893 million. Meanwhile, the Powerball jackpot has climbed to $687 million. ABC's Melissa Adan has the latest on the lottery frenzy. The Mega Millions and Powerball jackpots racking up some cash after weeks of no winner. The Mega Millions jackpot growing from $875 million this morning to nearly $900 million for tonight's drawing after no tickets have matched all six numbers since early December. If you don't play, you're not going to have a chance, mm -hmm. so you got to play. This is the sixth time the Mega Million jackpot has surged this high. The odds of winning, one in nearly $303 million. And it's not just the Mega Millions topping charts, the Powerball jackpot also rising. Wednesday's jackpot now valued at nearly $690 million, and ticket buyers say they are hopeful. You don't want to miss out on half a jillion dollars or whatever it is. Keep in mind, the Pennsylvania Lottery is upgrading its systems today for the first time in 16 years and says lottery terminals will be temporarily unavailable. The lucky Mega Millions winner will have the option to take a one-time lump sum of their winnings or take distributions of the cash in 29 annual payments. We'll soon find out if someone takes home the big prizes. The Mega Millions drawing is tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern, and then the Powerball drawing is tomorrow night. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles. 
Well, some in Whitman County are concerned about a proposed wind farm that could be built near Colfax. Why some say it will damage the land and how these 500 foot structures could benefit the community. And up next, former President Donald Trump is struggling to cover his almost half a billion dollar bond. What the state of New York could do if Mr. Trump can't pay up. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. The New York Times calls it thrilling, glorious, and better than it ever was. Bartlett Shear's glowing production is enthralling. Don't miss the smashing, jubilant Lincoln Center Theater production of My Fair Lady. April 2nd through 7th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. I'm Chad Young from TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the easy It's the big kickoff event this month at Northwest Fence, where every year we launch the fencing season with great bargains on fence and automated gate packages. So give us a call to schedule your new chain link, vinyl, or ornamental iron fence. Or maybe you're a do-it-yourself or looking for materials. Save a little of the cost by shopping early and beating the summer rush during the spring launch at Northwest Fence. Nobody builds them better. For a limited time, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. Stop by Pape Machinery Ag and Turf today to get started. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you gonna build? Around the nation, former President Donald Trump's legal team says he is struggling to secure a bond to cover the nearly half a billion dollars in damages owed in his New York civil fraud case. Trump's team saying he's facing insurmountable difficulties after he was rejected by more than 30 insurance companies which were unwilling to take his real estate properties as collateral. If Trump does not find the money, New York can ask the court to start seizing his properties. And his legal problems don't end there. In Miami, a former Trump advisor Peter Navarro became the first former White House official in U.S. history imprisoned for contempt of Congress. I will walk proudly in, in there and do my time. I will gather strength from this. Donald John Trump is the nominee. Navarro starting his four-month sentence for refusing to cooperate with the January 6th commission. Trump says commission members like Liz Cheney should be jailed. And in Trump's hush money criminal trial, a judge rejected his attempts to keep two key witnesses off the stand in his former fixer, Michael Cohen, and actress Stormy Daniels. The former president has denied any wrongdoing in all cases. The number of women who are freezing their eggs is going up, but a new study shows the number of them actually using them is extremely low. In the last five years, the number of women freezing their eggs has gone up by 150%. The process can take from two to three weeks and include multiple hormone injections a day, combined with doctor's appointments every other day, leading up to egg retrieval. And out-of-pocket costs average about fifteen dollars to $20,000. Now, this new study published in the JAMA Network Open shows only 25 to 3% of women use their frozen eggs. 
was a little bit like we are telling women that they must do this because they are absolutely going to have infertility. That's not fair, but infertility is increasing. People are putting off their family building for longer. For a lot of people, the peace of mind is worth it. It is important to note that doctors say this is not a guaranteed process, meaning you don't necessarily end up with a healthy baby. Another study found the average success rate is around 39%. We have much more coming up tonight at 6.30. Including why four dogs in Pierce County ended up in the back of a patrol vehicle. And a proposed wind farm in Whitman County has many neighbors upset. Find out what their concerns are coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. BTO is back. Bachman Turner Overdrive featuring Brandy Bachman performing the greatest hits from BTO and the original The Guess Who. July 24th at BECU Live at Northern Quest. BTO Live. On sale Friday at 10 a.m. at northernquest.com. Don't miss the return of BTO in concert. Produced by Live Nation. The spring rush is on to get those early decking projects started so everyone can have a beautiful backyard this summer. And nobody has a better selection at better prices than the pros at Windsor Plywood. Windsor Plywood. That's Montana Sapphire from Phillipsburg, Montana. It's that time of year to book your roofing project now before the spring rush hits at McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. And when you purchase a new CertainTeed roof today, you'll get a five-star lifetime material and labor warranty upgrade for free. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Coeur d'Alene. You are not guilty of second-degree murder. Guilty. Former Idaho State Police Trooper Daniel Howard has now been convicted of killing his wife, Kendi Howard. Over the last few weeks, the state argued that Howard used his years of law enforcement experience to make his wife's death look like a suicide. Hunter Bertram is live outside the courthouse tonight with more on the jury's decision and reaction from the courtroom. Hunter? I mean, Kirsten, it was an emotional reaction. I can tell you uh, the daughter, Brooke Wilkins of uh, Kendi Howard, was just distraught, crying, uh, talking to her brother. I mean, emotions ran rampant here. And following that uh, decision by the jury, the courtroom left. Everyone kind of feeling a sense of relief, feeling that, you know, these hard almost three weeks of trial are done. It was just absolutely 
absolutely emotional and uh, prosecution told us afterwards that they don't yet have a sentencing recommendation for the court, but they're going to take it case by case, how every case is unique in its own self. They did say they're going to probably include partially when he was arrested at the airport on Friday. Now, we don't have the specifics on how that's going to play into his sentencing, but overall, the prosecutor and Sheriff Knowles of uh, Spokane or Kootenai County are just pleased that he is put behind bars. Back to you guys. All right, Hunter, thank you. Well, the hills of the Palouse are painted like a scene printed on a postcard, but that could be changing if 45 wind turbines over 500 feet tall are placed on the hills soon. An Oregon-based company is proposing a wind farm in Whitman County, which has many local people upset. The community even started a Facebook group trying to stop this project, and it now has over a thousand members. Marissa Rio shares the community's concerns. The passion neighbors in the area have against this project is evident, with many placing signs like these in their front yard. An obvious opposition to the proposed wind farm that is advertised to bring clean energy to power 90,000 homes and over 200 construction jobs. You know, we see ourselves as community partners to the Whitman County community and you know, everyone from our landowners to people who are not participating in our project. You know, we will be we're estimating up to $70 million of tax revenue. The wind turbines will be placed around the west end of Kamiak Butte to Highway 272. But many locals don't want their hills to look like the wind farm near Rosalia. The man who lives on this property says the landowners on this side and this side have leased out their land to allow windmills on their property. So he is directly impacted and he has many concerns. As Dan, who lives on the property, walks through the area to show us what land and views will be diminished if the project is approved, he also shares his worries. Sound, killing wildlife, birds, uh, potential fire risk increase, either lightning strikes or they do fail quite often and start on fire and nobody is a equipped to fight a fire that's 400 feet in the air. While an official with the wind project says windmills catching fire is extremely rare, other neighbors share the same concern. One says he isn't against wind farms, but he is against the irresponsible placement of them. They need to place them in a location that is the least impactful to the rest of, uh, you know, to the, to the community. So it's not just not in my backyard, it's not in anybody's backyard. This project is still in the developmental phase, but developers hope to begin construction in 2026. The Whitman County Planner says the county is not involved just yet since permits have not been submitted. For more information regarding this project or the petition, visit our website at kxly.com. Reporting in Whitman County, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. Well, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office is looking for this man who robbed the bank in Spokane Valley. They say it happened at the first interstate bank near Sprague in Progress. In this photo, you can see the man place a gun on the counter. And with information on the bank robbery, is asked to contact the Sheriff's Office. A live look over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. It's quiet right now, but it will not be for long. And a beautiful evening still in progress after a record high set today. Third day in a row in Spokane. We got up to 69. 68 uh, is the previous record set back in 1947. We'll be out of the record business tomorrow, but it's still going to be above average. Here's a look at your Wednesday planner. Our average high is 50. We're heading up to a high of 63. Mostly to partly sunny skies. A few more clouds filtering our sunshine, but it's still going to be a gorgeous day. There are changes coming, though. Here are four things to know about your weather. A little bit cooler Wednesday, showers possible Thursday, and then a good chance of rain on Friday, heading into a cool, wet weekend. Spring officially starts in an hour and a half. I will be back to tell you about the vernal equinox after a few minutes. Kirsten? Chris, thank you. Two hikers from out of state had to be rescued after they were trapped near the enchantment south of Leavenworth. According to the Chelan County Sheriff's Office, an individual received a message from the hikers Sunday night saying they were stuck and not prepared to spend another night out on the hike. Deputies say an air unit was used to locate them. Rescue crews decided the best option was to fly them out with a helicopter. No one was hurt. 
Assault charges are now dropped against a man who claimed self-defense in a deadly shooting in Airway Heights last month. Court documents say the incident started over a bullying claim involving kids at a park in early February. Divine Bullard told deputies he was called a racial slur by the kids. He said adults associated with those kids confronted him at his mobile home and sprayed him with bear mace while he was inside. Wyatt Walker was shot and killed that night. The prosecutor says new evidence has come to light that negates the second degree assault allegation against Bullard. So the charge was dropped without prejudice. Some Trader Joe's cashews are being recalled over salmonella concerns. Certain production lots of the 50% less sodium roasted and salted whole cashews are being recalled. It comes after a lot tested positive for the bacteria during routine testing. The recalled cashews were sold in 16 states, including Washington and Idaho. You can check the impacted lot numbers right on the FDA's website. And if you did purchase any of these affected products, take them back to Trader Joe's for a full refund. Satisfying your sweet tooth with chocolate is getting more expensive. A recent report from Wells Fargo found dwindling supply around the world is causing cocoa prices to skyrocket. Part of those supply issues have to do with climate, including tree diseases brought on by heavier rainfall. Meanwhile, cocoa tree farmers in West Africa are also dealing with dry temperatures and extreme winds from this year's El Nino. The price for cocoa has more than doubled over the last year. Well, this next one might get some mixed reactions. A recent study found that the more intense your exercise routine is, the better your mental health benefits. The study shows activities like walking, jogging, yoga, and strength training could be effective treatments for depression, suggesting that exercise could be a viable alternative or addition to other treatments like therapy and medication. Depression affects a significant portion of Americans, about 16 million adults every year, according to the CDC. Well, warmer weather also means the start of allergy season for millions across the U.S. Coming up, what you can do now to prepare to lessen your symptoms. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Slam dunk a deal on 170 new Kias at George D. Kia. What is a jewelry design center? Locally owned and the largest jewelry store in the region, offering you more choices, more options. A showroom filled with world famous brands and designers. A center who also creates exclusive designs and one of a kind pieces, whose specialized selection process ensures the brightest diamonds and most vivid gems. We are not your average jewelry store. We are Jewelry Design Center, and we want to be your jeweler for life. Hey, can I get some butter for my popcorn? Sure, it'll be a dollar extra. A dollar extra for butter? Yep. Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascent checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. So here it is, Northern Quest's best car ever. Shotgun. Anton already called it. You can play a game of pig for it. It's your funeral. Fine, but we're playing hippopotamus. Play daily to win a brand new Mercedes Benz, only at Northern Quest. Western Skies Construction, a local owned and operated company with three generations of experience. We're licensed, bonded, and insured, and we offer free estimates. Our team is committed to improving the life of your asphalt parking lots, roads, and driveways. Call us today at 509-315-7974. That's 509-315-7974. Next ET, Dr. Dre's Big Hollywood Honor. It's an amazing thing, man. Plus, we're with Jim Parsons talking his young Sheldon send-off. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. 4 News Now on the road to the championship. I'm Julian Minnesota, and I'm heading out with the Zags. I'm Alex Crescenti. I'll be with my alma mater, Washington State. Live coverage, behind-the-scenes access. Hit the road with us on 4 News Now and KXOY+. 
All right, I love this. Take a look at this group of pups in the back of a squad car in Pierce County. Oh. After escaping from their backyard, <laughs> investigators say after they snuck out, they decided to stop at Spanaway Middle School. The dogs were running around from classroom to classroom before being sent to the principal's office where uh -oh. deputies broke out the leashes to help bring them back home. But quite a story to tell for How those dogs, right? get into the school? It's a great <laughs> question. I don't, maybe... Sounds like something I would have done. Come on in. Yeah, prompter, right? <laughs> Somebody help them out. I love the face of that one pup. He looked so happy. <laughs> Even in the back of that patrol car, he's like, look what I just did. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're maybe their owner's kids go to that school maybe and they're falling. So. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe so. All right, hey, spring officially starts in like an hour 20-ish? Mm, yeah, yes, it does. Spring officially starts. It feels like it's been here for a few days, but we are talking about the vernal equinox at uh, six minutes after eight in this time zone. It's early. It's on the 19th. Today is the 19th. Usually it's on the 20th, 21st. But because if it's a leap year, uh, it's a little bit earlier. In fact, this is the earliest vernal equinox we have had in 128 years. Uh, because this is the precise moment uh, that the sun crosses over the equator. It all has to do with the fact that our beloved planet is tilted on its axis at exactly 23 points five degrees and that's what gives us the season so in winter uh, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun in summer it's tilted toward the sun and on the equinoxes it is not tilted toward or away from the sun. We have the equal amount of the sun's energy across the entire planet. So the vernal equinox, it, equinox by the way, is Latin. It stands for equal night. Uh, we're supposed to have the uh, equal amount of daylight and darkness at all latitudes doesn't quite pan out exactly that way. As you take a look at our sunrise and sunset times, they're close. I uh, want to point out that our sunrise is now firmly in the six o'clock hour and our sunset now is at 7.02. So I, we have our uh, sun set just before, uh, an hour and change before our equinox. 69, the high today, our record 68. Um, the books say 1911. That was the first time we hit 68, but most recently we did it in 1967. I uh, just want to point out that our average high is 50 and our average low is 32. We're going to get closer to average and then a little bit below average in the forecast. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, still above average, not as warm as our record-breaking 69 of the past two days or our record-breaking 70 of Sunday, but we will start to see a few more clouds drifting through Thursday, we cool down a little bit more with breezy conditions and just a chance of rain. Then the rain comes in and then our temperatures drop below average for the weekend and into early next week. And we do have some snow possibly mixing in with the rain. Might even see a little snow sticking around on the grassy surfaces Saturday night into Sunday morning and again Sunday morning into Monday, which to be honest, is very spring-like in the inland northwest because we get a little bit of everything uh, in the spring around here, Derek. Oh, we sure do. <laughs> and as Chris said earlier, today at 8.06 is the first day of spring. But besides that warmer weather, spring also brings the return of allergies. We already have all the tissues that could possibly <laughs> buy at my house. According to the CDC, more than a quarter of adults in the U.S. and nearly one in five kids have a seasonal allergy. So if you're one of them, doctors say get ready. This season could be a rough one. CNN's Mandy Gaither has more. Spring is in the air, literally. With global warming, climate change, uh, we are are seeing these longer pollen seasons that not only last longer but are stronger. Dr. Pervy Parikh with the Allergy and Asthma Network says tree pollen may last through April or May and then grass pollen will start to peak until June. 
Then there's dust and mold with which to contend. What I tell all my patients is start your medication early, right at the start of the season. Parikh says preparing now before symptoms start can help control them. If you have asthma, she says to avoid attacks by getting on preventative or controller medicine early. For allergy sufferers, get on a regimen of nasal sprays and antihistamines, but get ones without a decongestant. So that means uh, without the letter D in it, because it's actually harmful to use that long term, like for allergies. But things like Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, those are all 24 hour antihistamines um, that actually work quite well. Help avoid getting stuffy by using steam inhalation or neti pots to open up the sinuses. Keep windows closed, especially in the early morning at peak pollen time. Avoid going outdoors at peak times as well. When you come home, change your clothes, take a shower so that pollen doesn't go to bed with you and use dust mite covers in the bedroom. HEPA air purifiers work well uh, for mold and animal allergies, but um, those pu air purifiers don't pu purify everything. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. All right, time for another quick break, but first, here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup for tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. This is a great opportunity to recognize the people who are behind the scenes doing the work. STCU's Volunteers Count showcases people who volunteer. There's just so many people that need so much help. This grant that we just received is going to be such a blessing. This is quite an honor. It will help so many people. Tell us about a volunteer who inspires you. Go to kxly.com slash volunteers count and nominate today. Thanks to STCU and, and News 4 for doing this. It's amazing. The 4 News Now team is back together. I'm Derek Dice. My co-anchor, Kirsten O'Connor, has been at home with her new baby boy, Noah. Now she's ready to get back to work telling the stories that matter to you. Join us both weekdays on 4 News Now at 5 and 6. Welcome to Move Fitness. Let's go. So you want somewhere to play, we got you. A nice, relaxed stay, we got you. Want to be entertained, we got you. Want to play golf all day, we got you. Golden Lake Casino, the winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do, we got you. Want some tasty food, we got you. Heard you want to do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Golden Lake Casino. The Golden Lake Casino, Golden Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. They come, and nobody will be hurt. The 911 premiere that left us breathless continues Thursday. You hear that? 911 is on ABC Thursday. Save your green! What a morning. Everyone there congratulating and even shedding some happy tears it looks like for one West Valley teacher. Shantae Payne earned the title of Northwest High School Advisor of the Year. At that same school-wide assembly, Ms. Payne was also given the West Valley School District's Above and Beyond Award. The whole school piled into the gym for what they thought was a student news segment, but instead they surprised Ms. Payne with those two awards. West Valley's student body president nominated Ms. Payne, saying she pours her heart into teaching at West Valley. He said one of her best qualities is her ability to not only love, but give tough love when it's needed. 
what do they say, keeping it 100? Like, and that's what I do with every single one of them, and I will love them hard one day, and if I have to be soft the next day with them, you know, I can be soft the next day with them, but just meeting them where they're at. So congratulations to Miss Payne and West Valley High School for this special achievement. And 4 News Now and STCU honor volunteers who make a big difference with their time and efforts to nonprofit organizations in our area. And today we are proud to announce that we awarded a $1,000 grant in Shauna Kennedy's name. She founded Stop the Silence, an organization that offers education and hope for domestic violence victims. My commitment is that people also, when anytime somebody says they need to leave or they're in danger, that you be there for them because that might be the time that is the end of their life. Shauna, who lost her own sister to domestic violence, will many times offer money out of her own pocket to assist victims seeking help. Thanks to Shauna for her volunteering efforts and to STCU for making sure volunteers count. Well, around the Northwest, in Bellevue, landlords protest outside a rental home where the family living there has not paid rent in almost a year. The landlord says he's tried evicting them, but then the Housing Justice Project paid back rent in a three-month advance so the family could find somewhere else to move, but they didn't leave. The landlord's attorney says this creates a larger problem for homeowners and renters. What's happening is landlords are being very, very cautious about who they're running to. And so the system is created is a form of discrimination. The Housing Justice Project delayed the second attempt to evict the family and the tenant obtained a temporary restraining order against the landlord. We'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. From the stories you should know. Some of these areas are just really hard to read. We're in the air with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. To the stories you need to know. Just how scary can it be to have a trained police dog chase you down. From the stories that change the way you think. It's the biggest event of the year. To the stories that affect the way you feel. Cheers. Cheers. Inside Edition. These are the stories that impact your life. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. It's time to hoop it up at Mr. Quad Casino Hotel. Score your share of over $22,000 in cash. Play your favorite games now to earn entries to shoot Ooh. hoops for cash. Mr. Quad Casino Hotel. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. We love our house, but lately we've been feeling a little cramped. So we talked to ICCU about a new home loan. The process was super quick and we got a really great rate. We start house hunting tomorrow. Preferably something with a bigger garage. will be available for you to book your future meetings or events. Mistaqua Casino Hotel. 4 News Now is brought to you by Jacobs Custom Living. Tomorrow should get its due. It is going to be a really nice day. Colder, cooler, gosh, not colder, cooler, <laughs> and a few more clouds, but still a really pretty day. It's hard to compare to the days we've just gone through, but it's going to be good. Okay. And then you'll need those hoodies and rain jackets. Yes. <laughs> and frowns. <laughs> no. no. It'll be okay. No, you need no to stud frowns. your tires.
Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now 